I've just upgraded from my first generation iPod Touch to a third generation iPod Touch and I am exploring its updated features. So new for me on the third generation iPod Touch is Bluetooth. So I thought I took it up to my Apple wireless keyboard here. I used to use a similar setup in the old days for taking notes uh, on my old Pam T3 with a folding keyboard. Uh, the Apple keyboard isn't foldable, but it is still pretty compact and light. Um, I actually got it resting here on a, an A4 pad so you can see what size it is. So it is pretty compact. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is pair the devices. So I'm going to open up the settings on iPod Touch. I'm going to go to the Bluetooth settings here. So if I go to settings and go to general. That a bit closer, and what I'm going to do is turn Bluetooth on, and it immediately starts searching for devices. So what I'm going to do here is pop over to the side of the keyboard, turn it on, the green light starts to flash, and it should pick up my Bluetooth keyboard. Okay, so it's found my keyboard. So I'll just click on this. It's asking me to put in a passkey here on my keyboard, so it's asking me to put in 0022. So if I do 0022, and it's now connected. So I can put this back on my impromptu dock here. This is my little gorilla pod. It's just a camera tripod, but I don't actually ever use it for a tri as a tripod. I always use it as my iPod dock. So here we go. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is test out um, its writing capabilities. So if I, I've got um, a text program here called, well, I can actually type it on the keyboard. I'm looking for iconic notes. I'll uh, just go there. So this is uh, just a, a text editing program. So if I just say new note here and open that up and select around the orientation. Okay, so now I can just start typing here. So just say hello world. So that's pretty neat. I can type away quite happily on my keyboard here. I've actually tried it with other applications and the only application I have found that not to work with, which would be the obvious choice for it to work with, is Quick Office. Quick Office allows you to edit and read uh, Microsoft Office documents like PowerPoint, Word, Excel. One of the nice things about using the Apple wireless keyboard is that the function, some, some of the function buttons actually work. So if I want to play my music, I just hit the play button. Uh, the volume controls work as well. So if I put the volume up, the volume down, can mute the volume and stop the track, play the track, put the volume back up and next track. Other things that work, uh, also can control the brightness remotely here. So that's quite neat.